Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is February the 12th, 2020. What I want to do is to just highlight in a quick video a couple of stories that should grab your attention, right? If you're in the Bitcoin space, what I want you to do is to consider the fact that Jack Dorsey, who is CEO of Twitter, He's also the CEO of Square, has teamed up with New Yorker Jay-Z. And they're, of course, not just investing 500 Bitcoin to make Bitcoin Internet's currency. But understand what these guys are doing is they're going to two of the most intriguing economies in the world, demographically, the Indian economy which, if you're into demographics, might well leapfrog the Chinese economy in the coming years, given the number of young people. And they're also going to Africa. Now understand, Africa is younger than most of the other continents. A lot of people in Africa don't have access to banking, normal financial markets. If you bring in cryptocurrency, if you bring in sound currency, Bitcoin, right? If the local economy is not based on Western debt, but is actually based on sound currency, given the natural resources and human capital in Africa, Africa's economic growth could go exponential. So understand, you're talking about two heavy hitters here. Guys who are CEOs. Guys who make things happen, who don't even need to be in the space, quite frankly. But these are the guys who want to change the world. Folks, they're taking steps right now to do so. Let's talk about another person who, quite frankly, is taking a big step to try to change the world. And that is New York mayoral candidate Andrew Yang, who is on record as saying that New York City should be a Bitcoin hub. Now, this news is bigger than it seems. Understand, the world has very few financial centers on par with New York City. Very few. I understand the people in London want to say, hey, we are the financial capital of the world. Well, let's just say very few cities can make that claim. Let's go one step further on New York City. Understand, New York right now needs a financial miracle. A lot of people are leaving New York, including very wealthy people, who are much of the tax base, right? So, New York is dealing with pensions that are underwater. A mass transit system that right now is underused. Looks like a malinvestment. Well, let me just say this, and I know there are critics out there saying, well, what about New York State's bit license, which is a disaster, right? I'll agree, the mayor of New York City is going to have to work with the rest of the state on some things. But there are other things that the next mayor of New York City can make happen that would lead to instant improvement. For example, the train system. If the MTA, Mass Transit Authority, in New York City starts accepting cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Right? Or, better yet, and keep in mind, you have much faster cryptocurrencies out there. Right? Dash. Elron. I mean, and let's also say this too. Bitcoin's slow transaction time shouldn't be an obstacle for those who prepay for their mass transit trips. Well, if you introduce Bitcoin into the New York City subway system and its administration. I'm just telling you that that chronic money loser is suddenly going to start making money. 
right? Because the dollars won't depreciate the way fiat currencies always do. It would also lead to price stability. When I was a kid, oh my goodness, it was dirt cheap to ride the subway system in New York City. I was back there recently for a funeral, well not that recently, let's say five years ago, and I was shocked. I was a old timer from the 70s, right? I started riding the subway to high school in 79, and you know, the pricing and everything like that threw me for a loop. Well, just imagine if you had consistent pricing because, of course, the price was denominated in a consistent currency, a cryptocurrency with a limited supply. That's what Bitcoin is. Andrew Yang is right now leading the New York mayoral race by several percentage points. If he wins, you're talking about the mayor of a major metropolitan area in a financial center that could shake things up significantly. Finally, and it does need to be said, you know, we talk about cryptocurrencies and altcoins, and many people are Bitcoin maximalists. Now, I love Bitcoin. It's by far my favorite. But, well, maybe not by far, but it's my favorite. But let me say this. You need cryptocurrencies like Dash Right? Cryptocurrencies that are much faster than Bitcoin. I personally have been trying to do a Bitcoin transaction now for about three days. On the screen is the mempool transaction list of unconfirmed transactions on the Bitcoin system. Right? I'm just telling you, I'm not alone. It looks like you have a spike in unconfirmed transactions. It looks like there are a lot of people like me who, you know, did a Bitcoin transaction and are waiting to receive their Bitcoin several days later, in part because the cryptocurrency has been on fire. Everyone should think about this when they think of altcoins, right? The altcoins that will make it will be altcoins that address market needs. One of them is for quick clearance of transactions. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope everyone watching this video has a great weekend. I thank you for stopping by.